looking forward to Valentine's Day. And even if you're not, you know, the holiday's biggest fan, everyone's a fan of having great sex, right? Well, our next guest, <laughs> our next guest wants to help us all boost the pleasure factor in the bedroom. Here with a treatment and exercises that can improve your sex life is manual osteopath to the stars, Liza Egboga. <laughs> So how can osteopathy potentially help us have better orgasms? Well, firstly, if you have better mobility in your joints and more flexibility in your muscles, it's going to help you get into those pleasurable positions. We like the sound of this. Yes. Thing. And <laughs> secondly, over 40% of women and 30% of men report sexual dysfunction. This is usually due to a lack of orgasm or painful intercourse. So by releasing some of the adhesions and fascia that may be causing inflammation in the pelvic area, you can help promote blood flow and also reduce some of that pain. So that's secondly how it's really helpful. Okay, we're gonna get the blood flowing, but first, uh, Marcy is going to um, get, get on the massage. Yeah, I'm gonna go here on my back. Marcy, perform yeah, so we're a going treatment. To have you lying on your back. Okay. And what exactly is the benefit of these treatments, specifically as they relate to your sex life? Yes. Yeah, so, firstly, we're going to start with a little bit of manipulation in the lower abdomen. Okay. So we mentioned how some of those adhesions in the fascia can block blood flow. So by releasing those adhesions, we're stimulating blood flow to the vaginal area and the pelvis as well. So not only are you going to have reduced pain, but you are more likely to have an orgasm as well. Are you feeling like I've been restricted? A little bit, a little bit restricted. <laughs> okay. So the thing is, a lot oh. of people are restricted because of the amount of time we spend sitting and that cuts off blood flow to those areas. So there's a scientific answer. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> So next, we want to open the hips. I mean, there's many reasons you want to open the hips, but this one is to help promote blood flow and again, help you in those positions. So to do that, we're going to push out on the hip bones. And as we're pushing out on the hip bones, you can feel that you're being decompressed. The reason why the hip bones go in is again, because of too much time, too much time spent sitting. That's life right there. Yeah, exactly, it actually yeah. feels really good. Yeah. And then next, what we want to do is we want to mobilize the hips and the pelvic area as well, again, to encourage blood flow and mobility. So I'm actually gonna be shaking you a little bit. Okay. <laughs> so relax your leg. Okay. Oh. And then we're just shaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How are you doing, Mars? Well. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then you'll notice that that's going to feel more open. And then when you're trying to get in those positions, you'll have an easier time doing that. And that's all. Let me I'm help you out. I'm open and unrestricted. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now that Marcy is more open and unrestricted, <laughs> let's start with some stretches. But first, how can these exercises um, increase the benefits that we're getting in, our, in, our, in the bedroom? Again, so we talked about mobility and having flexibility, so it does that. But also, these poses in particular help boost a hormone called the melanocyte-stimulating hormone, and that helps with sexual desire. So not only is it going to help you get into the positions, it's also going to help boost your libido. Oh. Well, yes. uh, nothing says flexibility <laughs> Why don't we like... do that on TV? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, <right now. laughs> and nothing says flexibility like the splits. Uh, yeah, so we're so going to start, start, with, start the... with the split. So let's start with us on our knees. Do we have to do the actual splits? Because neither one of us can split. We're just putting that out there 100%. right now. 100%. So okay. I will be doing the full splits, and then you guys will be doing the modified version. Okay. okay. Everyone That's great. Okay. okay. Okay, so on your knees. Okay. Okay, and then you're going to put one leg out forward. Okay. And you can use your hands on the ground to help support you and balance you. Okay. And then what you want to do is you just want to slide that front foot forward as far as you can go. Exactly. And then you're using your hands there for, for support. So that's really great. And what this is doing is it's helping to open up the hips. It boosts energy. And also, it's a great thing for foreplay because, you know, you can look at your partner and be, you know, it's a, it's a huge turn on. Splits. Exactly. So right. now, let, let's bring the leg back. Okay. So the next exercise, the next exercise is a common yoga pose, downward yes. dog, but right now we're we're gonna explore its benefits um, in, sexu in sexual health. Exactly, so what we're going to do first is you're going to place your palms out in front of you. Good, and then you want to curl your toes so that they're under and touching the mat. Now you wanna push yourself up so that your hips are directed towards the ceiling. And then slowly walk your feet up until your heels touch the ground. 
Okay, perfect. So the, the benefit of downward dog is that this also helps to boost confidence, which is very important when it comes to having hot sex. So <laughs> we've got a lot of confidence. Should exactly. Get now? And okay. as you can see, this would also double as a great position as well. <laughs> okay, so okay. to come out of this, you yes. want to walk your hands back. And then you can slowly stand up. <laughs> Good job, guys. <laughs> Okay, so from downward dog uh, to the eagle pose. What, yes. pray tell, is the eagle pose like? Okay, so with the eagle pose, okay. we're standing with our feet about shoulder width apart. Okay, I'm just gonna fix this. Okay. Good, we're gonna bring our arms right out in front of us. Okay. And then we're going, to, it's almost like we have a stool behind us and we're sitting in that stool. Perfect, and now we want to Swing our left arm under our right arm and bring our palms together. Perfect, and then we're going to take our left leg over our right leg and wrap it around the calf. Okay, ooh, uh-oh, okay. Perfect, okay. and then, exactly, Marcy's doing a modified position, which is still perfectly You're so helpful. Kind. You're so <laughs> kind, okay. Good, and then we bounce there, and then we unwrap our legs and bring our arms back out. And how did that, what did that just do for us? So, <laughs> okay. You saw that when your legs were compressed, it actually restricts blood flow to the pelvic area. So then when you unwind, you have a rush of blood going to the right places. So it's almost like a tourniquet effect where you stop the blood and then it rushes through and that oh, helps to I promote blood you. flow. Got it. Exactly, I got you. so blood's rushing to all the right places. Uh-huh, okay. <laughs> Tree pose is next. Yeah, so this is a great balancing pose. To do this, we're going to have our hand out, our hand out to the right with our palm up. We're going to take our left ankle and place it in the hand. Okay. Good, and you're just bringing it to the front of your hip. And then with your other hand, you can slowly just push your knee down. And then when you feel like you have balance, bring your left hand up to the center of your chest. And take a deep breath. And so we've accomplished this. What does okay. this do for us? Yeah. So this is a great balancing pose and it's great to center your mind. So the focus and your concentration is helpful for you to achieve orgasm. And as you can feel, it's also opening up the hips. And what's important? Hip opening. There you go, you can release. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then there's one more and that is bridge pose. Yeah, so now we get to lie down. So let's lie down. Okay. okay. Okay, so your knees are bent with your feet planted on the floor, and then you're just going to lie on your back. You're going to thrust your hip up towards the ceiling, mm -hmm. and then you're interlocking your hands underneath. I'm pretty sure I know how this helps yeah. with sex. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so this one, you can feel the stretch in, your, stretch in your hips. It feels good. And this can also work as a position as well. <laughs> well, hey, and then now you can lower. Okay, and this, hey, perfect. Woo! And this opens up our hips. Exactly. So when you were doing that pose, you felt a nice stretch into the hip flexor. That lengthens the areas and helps to break up some of those adhesions we were discussing further. And then also it feels good and you're tightening up your glutes. It's a great core workout because when you look better and feel better in your body, it's going to be more enjoyable. Is your blood flowing? The blood's flowing. <laughs> I'm <gonna sit> <laughs> We're open. Thank you so much, Liza. I'm feeling ready to hit the bedroom. <laughs> to see all these exercises again, head over to the social.ca after the show, and we'll be right back.